Gwen and the clock is ticking, and Teresa is going to take a licking. She thought it hurt when she lost custody of little Ethan. Wait till you and Ethan adopt him as your owner. She's going to want to impale herself on the nearest Toro, or she's going to end up in the psych ward. Well, either one is uh, fine with me, and the sooner the better. Not only did Teresa kill my little girl and leave me barren, but she still had the nerve to make goo goo eyes at Ethan when they were singing together. Well, until this point, Teresa has been like that little pink bunny, you know? She keeps going and going and going. Well, this is gonna stop her in her tracks. I guarantee it. Oh, wait, I have to check on Julian, so we'll catch up later, okay? Okay. What happened to your mother? She, uh, she went to go find Julian to tell him that if things uh, keep going at this rate, you and I could be parents very soon. Mm -hmm. Here's to the right baby. I've already found him. Teresa's son. Uh, Gwen, Teresa's got something she wants to say to you, and um, I'd like if you could hear her out. I, I just wanted to say that I... Teresa, I really don't uh, want to hear anything that you have to say. Teresa is with Fox. I gotta stop thinking about him. I'm with Chad. Oh my god. What is this? Well, the bubbly is to celebrate your debut as a singer, and the rose is because everyone loves you. Most of all, me. Me, what's wrong? You were great in there. I mean, you should be feeling totally psyched. Happy. But I don't, Chad. I feel awful. I feel just awful. What the hell are you talking about? Her! Like I said, she's a singer from the old Blue Note back in Boston I was telling you about. The one that got into all the drugs and the booze and the wild sex after she hooked up with Julian Cray. She looks really good after 25 years, don't Damn you it, think? Damn it, this is my wife you're talking about. Your wife? I, my husband's right. You've obviously got me confused with someone else. It's no mistake, Eve. It's your moment of reckoning. All your secrets are about to come out. Well, if it isn't Julian, the last nail in my sister's coffin. Mr. Craig, look. It's your whore from the old Blue Note back in Boston. Look, I I'm telling you the truth. These two used to be hot and heavy. Luis. You remembered. I knew that you would remember. Oh, Luis. It's okay. Hey, we're gonna be together, okay? Love you so much. Looks like Sheridan is starting to remember her love for Luis. Who know how Antonio's gonna handle this? Pilar. I had a feeling you'd wind up here. What happened? Sheridan. She remembered everything. She remembered that she loved me.
Gwen, no, don't, don't do this. Don't go off on her right now. Uh, no, Ethan. Okay, don't you do this. Don't you dare take her side over mine. I do not want to hear one word that you have to say, all right? Nada! Gwen, trust me, she's not out to cause any trouble, okay? Fox, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now she's got you fooled too, huh? I mean, how do you do it? How in the world do you do this, Therese? Is it drugs, hypnosis? The way you shake your maracas? Gwen, I don't blame you for being wary. Wary? Wary? Teresa, I should be wearing body armor because not only is my little girl dead because of you, I can't conceive anymore honey, because honey, of you. I don't think she came here to just stir up trouble. Okay? You stick up for her one more time, and I swear Gwen, to God... Gwen, listen, he's right, okay? She's not trying to make things worse between you two. Trust me. Just hear her out, okay? Please. All right. Listening. I heard that um, you and Ethan want to adopt a child. So I just wanted to wish you the best. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do. I want you and Ethan to adopt a child and make all your dreams come true. Baby, look, I know you're upset about your mother and Julian, thinking that they're carrying on behind your father's back. But the thing is, you don't know that for sure. Okay, and your point is what? That, that whatever your mother's got going on, both she and your father came to see you sing tonight, despite how they feel about you quitting tennis to do so. Now, you gotta be happy about that. Yeah, I should be, right? And what's the problem? I mean, you're on your way to, to winning them over. Even your father looks like he's getting ready to back you up. And where was my mother tonight? Where was she while I was singing? It's hard for her. Yeah, it's hard for her to keep her hands off her lover. That's who she was with the whole time while I was singing. And when my father found them together again, he almost killed Julian. So my father could have gone to prison for the rest of his life and it would have been my mother's fault. So how, Chad? How can I think of tonight as a success when my whole family is falling apart around me? The man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, these two used to be lovers and, and then some. Uh, sir, I'm sorry, but you have mistaken me for someone else. Likewise, this lady, she is one of Harmony's most prominent, respected citizens. <laughs> Crania must still be to think she's a class act. She's a hooker, a high price one, but supposedly worth every penny. Nobody talks about my wife that way. <laughs> I can't lose him. Not again. I can't. You hearing this, Antonio? Sheridan remembers I'm the one she wants to be with. Sheridan didn't say a damn thing about wanting to be with you. She was saying that she can't lose me. <laughs> Antonio, why don't you get a clue? Hey, Luis, por favor. Hey. Huh? You know what you need to do, Luis? You need to get over the sick obsession that you have for my wife. She was absolutely fine tonight until we went to Liz's club and you had Whitney sing that silly love song. Look, all that song did is make Sheridan remember that she still loves me. Oh, well, like hell it did. It made her so uncomfortable that she ran out of the club just to get away from you. I can't lose him again. I can't. Damn you for sending her over the edge after she's so fragile after just getting out of the psych ward. I mean, think about it, Luis. You're the one that put her in there in the first place by trying to convince her that you're the one she loves. You're the one who had her committed to the psych ward. Yeah, because you were trying to turn her against me. You had her confused. Oh, and I won't mention anything about uh, the way you were seducing her. Yeah, Mama, what do you think about your son now? Your son, the adulterer. He even had sex with Sheridan in the psych ward. You know what? That's enough. Can't you see what your fighting is doing to Sheridan? Look, Dr. Ackland and Alistair brainwashed her while she was in that hospital. And all that song did was snap her out of it, and now Sheridan remembers that she loves me. She's my wife, and she already chose me. Stop it! Stop it! All right, I remember. I remember so much. <laughs> Can't you read, officer? My last name is Crane. I know his name. I know it very well. Sheridan Crane, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Stop! I'm not going to be with Antonio. I'm going to be with Sheridan. you. Please. <laughs> oh, I don't 
hardly care what you think, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Whoever it is, I think I'm falling in love. <laughs> Louis. Jaren! I'm gonna have a baby. I know the baby is mine, Luis. I know it. Okay, sure. Is that really you? Don't you ever leave me? Never again. I love you so much. I'm sorry, Luis. It's all right. You're never going to be able to hold me or kiss me or make love to me. You'll never have a life with me, so I might as well be dead to you. Oh, sure. Luis. I'm gonna Luis. I love you. Say it again. Please say it again. I love you with all my heart and soul. I was Goodbye. You could never stop loving you. You're the only man I want to be with. It's okay. It's okay. All right, just go ahead. Just tell Antonio that you remember that you love me and I'm the man you want to spend the rest of your life. pretty naive right now. Both my mom and Mr. Crane said that I don't know the whole story. They, they all but admitted something big is going on but won't tell me what it is. So either they're trying to hide the fact that they're pod people or they're having an affair. And my money's on number two. Okay, so you're right. And they are an item. Short of telling your father, what can you do? I don't know, Chad. I wish I knew, but I have to do something. Keeping this secret all this stuff is just, it's killing me. Well, then you have to let it go. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just let it go. No, for real, Whitney. Look, I know you love your family, okay? But right or wrong, for better or worse, they're living their lives, and it's time for you to start living yours. I mean, you can't let their problems stop you from feeling the high you should after the way you sang tonight. Baby, it's time for you to start feeling happy for yourself, for the choices you've made. I don't know if I can do that. Not when it looks like my father's life is about to change forever. What is this? Not a whore! She's got a whore! Excuse me, I need your help. Please, hold me back. My wife's not a whore! DC, save me. 
say I've warned you about your temper. Somebody better get this trash out of here. I don't give with all the fusses over a hooker. My wife is not a hooker. She sang for a supper, if you know what I mean. What the hell are you talking about? He was all hot and bothered by her. She she was a good, she was a singer. That's why Mr. Cream wanted her. As I said, you've mistaken me and the lady for someone else. No, you two, you two were an item. <laughs> and they could drink it. Their favorite was champagne. And then there was the drugs and the, and the wild parties and the, oh, and, and the homemade movies of their romantic romps in the bedroom. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, you, you, you a wildcat, baby. <laughs> That's enough. And you, a lucky man, it's the truth. Okay, you know what, Mr. Crane is right. I mean, this is unbelievable for you to walk in here and claim that he had an affair with this woman and that they indulged in alcohol and drugs and fornication. That's exactly what happened. Listen, my wife is a doctor. She is the most respected woman in Harmony. And she is not the floozy that you think she is from Boston. Look, look, I don't like being called a liar. I'm telling you that, that, that she used to be with him. And they had a big time thing together. Damn it, that's impossible. I can prove it. The hell you can. I can prove that that you, your wife and Julian Crane will love us. Sheridan, what did you remember just now? I remembered Louise being with him. This is where he proposed to me. I remember the joy I felt that day. Sharon. Sharon, I'm glad you remember. Look, we, we can pick up right where we left off, right? We can be together again. We wanted so much together. We had dreams. We... We had so many dreams. Sure. We, we still have those dreams, okay? We can still be together. So many dreams. Sheridan, please, just tell Antonio that you remember and you love me, okay? Don't pressure her, Luis. Antonio. Sheridan, is it true? Do you want to be with Luis? That's right, Sheridan. Just tell, tell Antonio. Sheridan, you okay? Mia, can you answer Antonio's question? Sure. Do you want to be with Luis? Sure. Why can't you just leave her alone? Look, you were the one who was pressing her for an answer You've just now. You've been dogging her all night. Please, just don't fight. Flar's right. Think about Sheridan. All he thinks about is trying to steal my wife. Look, Sheridan loves me. Will you both just stop it? Her pulse is normal enough. She's just fainted. All right, come on. Let's get her back to the car. She's hey. my wife. I can take her back to the car. Oh, God. God. You're wasting time. Sheridan again? Well, what you said just now about that I treat Lilithan like he's my own son, and I would think you'd be happy about that. Oh, I, I am happy. Okay, great. <laughs> yes, great, terrific, perfect. Uh, Teresa and Gwen finally found common ground. Isn't that right, Teresa? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Look at here, a toast, huh? A toast to, uh, toast to your adoption. Okay. okay. All the luck in the world in your search for finding a child. Thank you. Nice. See, Winnie, the way I see it, there are two kinds of people in this world. Those who take on guilt for stuff they shouldn't, and people who should feel guilty, but don't. And I'm in the first category.
Michelle seems to be steady. She's breathing normally, Mijo. Thank God, yeah. Yeah, but no thanks to Luis. You did this to her, you know. You put too much pressure on her, she couldn't take it. Well, don't start, you know, okay? Some, as soon as Sheridan comes to, she's gonna pick me. How do you like that? If you don't quit saying that, I swear. Basta ya, por favor. I can't take any more of your fighting. You obviously neither can Sheridan. Uh, Sheridan? Uh, oh, my God. What is it? Is she okay? She's burning with fever. Well, I'm, uh, it's getting late. We better get home. But, uh, thank you for all the nice things you said about Glenn caring for your son. Of course. Okay. okay. Night -night. Good night. I raise my glass. Oh, I think that went well. To our happy ending. Whitney, I'm not saying you should turn your back on your family. You know, I just don't feel like it's on your shoulder whether things stay the same or fall apart. I mean, sure, love them. But don't try to be the glue that holds everything together. God, it's just so hard to let go. Yeah. And I love you for caring. But you can't run your mother's life any more than you let her run yours. Mm -hmm. Only, in a way, you're still letting her. How am I doing that? No. I mean, the way I see it, you're thinking whatever's going on with Julian and your mother is souring your love. And I'm asking you not to let it. Whitney, I love you. And for real, I will never cheat on you. Ever. Oh, Chad, I'm so sorry. I never meant for my parents' problems to come between you and me. I love you, too. You know, when I was a kid, I always imagined what my wife would be like. I always dreamed she would be this incredible, strong, really giving woman. And as amazing as she was, you're even more incredible. Really? Whitney, you are more amazing than any woman I could ever imagine. I swear I will never be unfaithful to you. No other woman will ever be in my heart. Only my love for you. Why did Rebecca knock this man unconscious? Why would you want to protect us? I can't imagine. Rebecca. Why'd you knock him out like that? Huh. Isn't it obvious? Well, I think you just could tell us anyway, Rebecca. The man was causing a scene. Well, I didn't want any of my new society friends here to, to hear any rumors about my Julian. Look, I know that my pookie here has a disgustingly debauched past. It's true. But I didn't want there to be any more rumors. No, it's taken me far too long to become Mrs. Julian Crane, and I am not going to be the subject of ridicule. Like you weren't before. The donkey's alone. And now, wait, the point here is that this guy was wrong. I mean, even Julian having some past way back when in Beantown, <laughs> and then acting like, like they were pioneers in the sexual revolution. Oh, please. Now, Eve is such a prude, it's a wonder you're even a father, TC. And as for Julian having to pay for sex, come on now. We all know a woman will sleep with a man if he has enough money. I mean, look at Maria Callas and Aristotle Onassis. Oh, and Anna Nicole Smith and that old geezer she was married to. No, Ripped Van Winkle here was wrong. Julian and Eve do not have a past. Yes, but I still wonder what proof he thought he had. And maybe it's in his coat pocket. After all, he seemed pretty confident that Eve and Julian had had an intimate relationship. Yeah, that's true. Well, why don't we take a look? What harm could it do? Did she have faint because of her fever? I'm not sure. She was fine before we left for the benefit. Hey, call Eve. Get her over here as soon as you can, please. Sure. What's the number? Hank, wait. I will call Eve as soon as Antonio and Luis leave Sheridan in peace. Mama, this is our bedroom. And yeah, not for long. Por favor. 
Even though Sheridan is unconscious, I am sure that she can sense the tension between you. Now, please, both of you, leave. What about Eve? I will call Eve as soon as I get her fever down. Sam, Hank, please take my sons outside to wait. Please don't let them fight anymore. All right, you heard her. Come on, let's go. Go get a cool cloth for your forehead. I wish I knew which one of my sons you wanted to be with. I wish I knew. things you said about me, you really mean them? Every word. Thank you so much, Chad. You're so good to me. I love you, Whitney. And now that we're back together, we will always be. Nobody's ever gonna come between us. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're leaving. But uh, we just wanted to say that you did awesome tonight. You were oh. wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thank oh. you. Yeah. Wonderful. Car keys? Uh, yes, I'm sure he was planning on making a quick getaway after he extorted my pookie. But he sounded so believable. Well, con men usually do. Indeed. Yeah, and... You know, before he, he set his sights on Julian, he actually even threatened me. I mean, he said that I used to work in a bar as some hoochie dancer in Pearl Harbor. Well, did you? Well, of course not. I've never been to Pearl Harbor. Look, oh, the, the, the point is that he didn't know diddly about Julian and Eve. Sweetheart, I am so sorry that this scum bothered you. Yes, TC, so am I. Eve Russell. Eve, it's Pilar. I'm at Sheridan's cottage. She collapsed earlier and is running a very high fever. Is there any way you can come over here? Yes, Pilar, I'll be right there. Hey, uh, that's Pilar. She says that Sheridan's taken ill with fever, so I'm gonna go over to the cottage and look after her. No, honey, I don't want you going anywhere near the Crane Estate, especially after Julian tried to kidnap you tonight. Well, honey, I told Pilar that I would come. Damn it, I don't care. You know, every time we set foot in that place, something bad happens. Now, who knows what he'll try when he gets home? I understand your reluctance, honey, but Sheridan's my patient, so I do have to go. Well, damn it, I'm going with you, because I don't want you to be alone. Um, Liz? Could you have that lout thrown out of here, please? Why did you save Eve's neck just now? What are you up to? Oh. Uh. What happened? Where did everybody go? Let me give you a hand. There. Come. Sit. There you are. What the hell? Hey. Give me that back. It's mine. Not anymore, it isn't. If you ever try anything like this again, I will kill you. Sheridan's inside with Pilar. Oh. Hey, Eve. Hey, keep an eye on these two. Now listen, if you start fighting again, I'm taking you both downtown and putting you under arrest. Don't worry, Sam, I got it covered. Where do you think you're going? This is our house. 
and I want you to get off the state, and I want you to stay away from my wife. You understand me? Oh, what an evening. Now, for better or worse, there's nothing like a night out in harmony, huh? Yeah, say that again. Hey! Hey, there he is. Come here, buddy. Oh! oh. I'm glad you're home. Little Ethan just woke up asking for his Uncle Ethan and Aunt Gwen. Really? You were, were you? You should be asleep, you know that? Can we take him out of the theater for please? <sighs> I don't know. Can we please? Mm, okay, we but just one. Yay! All right, all right, go turn it on. I'll be there in a second, okay? okay. Go. Thank you. We'll bring him up there in a little bit. You know something, I was thinking. What Teresa said about you caring about little Ethan, that was actually nice of her. Yeah, well, it's nice that she's not always blind to the truth. <sighs> I suppose if we need a reference to adopt, we should just ask Teresa. That is a great idea. Honey, we should definitely get a letter of reference from Teresa. You know, I think that would really help when we find the perfect child to adopt. Mm. Mother, you could not have planned this better yourself. Teresa is actually going to endorse me to adopt her son. So you want to know why I saved even Julian? Okay, Liz. I will tell you. I certainly didn't do it to protect them. I did it so that I can control their destiny. You see, Julian is so afraid that I'm going to expose his past with Eve that he will do anything I want. Even help me rip a child away from his mother. So for your own information, Liz, I will expose their sordid past eventually. But it will be in my way, in my time. Okay, Rebecca, I will wait. Because I know it's only a matter of time before TC and everyone knows all about Eve. All right, where did my slut sister's oldest daughter go? A daughter who could also reveal one of Eve's secrets anytime and anywhere. Um, well, thank you for you guys coming and saying you liked my performance tonight. <laughs> I mean, I think I did okay. Okay. Honey, you were wonderful. You heard the applause. Everybody mm -hmm. loved you. Yeah, except for my mom, who was too busy sneaking off with Fox's father to hear me. Sorry. Oh, well, it's not your fault. <laughs> And like Chad said, short of telling my father what I know and ruining his life, there's nothing I can do about them seeing one another. I think you're right. He made me feel a whole lot better. Mm -hmm. And I love you very much for it. Well, <clears throat> you know what I was just thinking? that it's not gonna be long before we're saying that we knew you before you were a star. Uh, yeah, right. No, no, Whitney, I agree with Teresa. I see a wonderful future ahead for you. And I'm sure we'll get exactly what we both want. Especially when it comes to outing Eve and Julian. You must listen to me. If you ever try to besmirch my lady friend's reputation, past or present, to anyone at any time, I will utterly and completely destroy your life. Do you understand? Good. Now you're to get out and never come back. I don't get it. How does a whore get so respectable on uh, keeping a past secret from her husband? Well, Rebecca's something. Punching out that guy for what he said about Eve and Julian. Yeah, Crane is braver than I thought, Mary and Rebecca. She is one mean lady. You heard me. Get out of here now. I'm not going anywhere. You're at it again. Come on, T.C. 
Guys, give it a rest. Even your mother has to stop fighting. Break it up. I'm sick of you two fighting all the time, like seventh graders. Yeah, Antonio's just scared that when Sheridan wakes up, she's gonna choose me. You know, let me tell you something. You're not gonna be here when Sheridan hey, wakes hey, up. Hey, enough! I'll tell you that. Yeah. All right? We're just gonna wait, okay? Then we're gonna have Sheridan pick who she wants to be with. still beaten, Sheridan's gonna be where she belongs, with me. Tonight, we'll just be friends, not lovers. I'll be the man in your life, and I won't take no for an answer.